Hello everyone. My name is Gaurav Agrawal and in this video we are going to learn how to install Postgres database on a EC2 machine. If you have still not subscribed to the channel then please go ahead and subscribe the same. I have already created multiple videos on real world AWS projects and will be creating more such interesting videos. Now AWS already provides us a relational database service for creating multiple different types of databases. Then you might be thinking why do we want to install a database on EC2. There are two main reasons for this. The first reason is cost. If you are doing a development or testing kind of activity then installing a database directly on a EC2 machine will be a cheaper option. The second point will be from a learning perspective. If you follow all of these steps then it will give you a fundamental understanding of how this deployment works and it will broaden your overall knowledge. So let's go ahead and cre create this database on a EC2 machine. I have opened two screens on my machine. The first screen is my AWS console where I have connected to the EC2 service and clicked on the launch instance. And the second screen is my GitHub page where the commands for installing the database are present. So let's first create the database, give it a name like DB server. We are going to use Amazon Linux with T2 micro instance type. You select the EC2 key pair in the network settings edit and let's create a new security group and give it a name. Allow all traffic and we want to select all traffic. Since database is running on a different port and we want to connect to this database from our local machine that's why we are making this change. Once this is done, let's scroll down and launch our. Now till the time the instance is getting launched, we will understand these commands. So in Amazon Linux 2023, there the new package manager is called as DNF. This is the updated version of YUM package manager. The package manager is useful for downloading the software from the internet and also for installing that software. So this command will install the database. This command will initialize the database. Then we start our database and we see the status. Let's copy these commands. And in our console, let's connect to our instance. Our SSH window is now open. I will paste the commands that I have selected and press enter. You will see that the installation has already started. And this will already start your database also. Press Q to exit this command line. Now we need to make couple of more changes. The first change is to modify the Postgres config file. But before we make any changes, we should take a backup. So this cp is a copy command to take a backup. Okay. Press sudo before this command. sudo elevates your privileges to a root user. So type sudo and paste this command and press enter. We have taken a backup of our file. Now select the next command and this will open the VI editor and we want to edit this file. Press enter. Now press escape. Press the slash character and type for listen. And press enter. Now remove this hash character and we want to change this local host. Press X. To delete the local host and type star. What we are doing is 
we are changing the settings and telling postgres that i want to listen from any remote machine tar means any previously it was local host which means that we can only connect to the database from our local machine press escape then colon wq to save the changes so the first change is done now the second change is we want to change the password of our user database user so for that use this command sudo password postgres press enter and it will ask you to specify the password the password that i have used is postgres retype the password this got changed then we will use the we will log in to this password now so su means switch user using the su command we are connecting to this user now press the password which is postgres now run this command this command will change the password of the db user to postgres and press enter for changing the password we need to we have we have to change the user also here now this is done press exit now we are going to modify one more configuration file which is the postgres host based authentication file copy this and press enter this is done let's search for host Slash host and no, this will give us a lot of occurrences. So let's go to the end of the file. Here we have to come to this line and this line actually, and we have to specify that the connections are allowed from any remote machine. so change this 127 press x press the x character to delete the character now instead of 127 type 0 then go to the another this one alphabet and delete this and type press 0 then instead of 32 press 0 so this spider address 0.0.0/0 will allow connections from any remote machine and the identification method we want to change it from ident to md5 press escape then colon wq to save the changes now if you are not familiar with vi commands then you will have to i will specify the complete steps on this uh, github page and then you should be able to easily make the changes the last command is to restart our database so that the changes that we have done takes into effect so now we have restarted the installation and the configuration part is complete now let's verify whether the connection is working correctly from our local machine for connecting to this database you need the ip address of the ec2 machine copy it from here and open a application called as db weaver you need to install this application on your local machine i will specify the link in the description section of the video open this application i have already opened it over here okay. but for a new database connection you need to press on the database menu click on new database connection and select postgres as the database and select next now your host is the ip address of the ec2 machine i will remove the database name from here the user is postgres and the password password is also postgres now we want to first test whether the connection is working correctly so click on test connection 
if all the configuration is correct then you will see a connected message if you are connecting for the first time it will ask you to download the postgres driver go ahead and download that click on okay and finish this connection now press this expand this um, database name and it will try to connect to our database you will see a database called as postgres which is the default database and here you will see the tables and all of that if you want to create a new database right click here and say new database and give it a name test db and in some time you should be able to see the database over here now in this database you should be able to create new tables or perform any kind of a sql operation we will not go into the details of it we were we just wanted to install our database so our installation is successfully completed i think that's all from this video perspective definitely give it a try it will increase your confidence and thanks for watching have a good day